Hi Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Sagittarius may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on who is missing you the most, Sagittarius, right now at this moment in time. Now, as you know, these are all timeless messages. So whenever you come across them, that may be a sign, symbol, synchronicity from the universe that there may be some messages here for you. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. For those of you who are interested in learning more about me, my client testimonial, or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who would like to follow me on my social media platforms, just take a look underneath my YouTube banner and there you will have all my social media links. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are free channeled messages. And, ooh, look what just came out here. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, for those of you who, are, um, who haven't turned on your notification bell, please do so so you don't miss out on new content upload or whenever I go live on my live stream, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I mean, listen, shuffling and already two cards have come out. Um, with every other uh, astrological sign that I've been doing this for, I've always started with this one and then just gone in order. But for whatever reason, this, of course, may be a sign symbol synchronicity from the universe. I am going to add more messages here later, but let's take a look at what popped out of the deck. So again, we're taking a look here at what messages are coming through, who this person may be. It could be a past connection. For some of you, it may have been a past connection here. Some of you, that that past connection could have been romantic. For others of you, this could be friends, family, loved ones, best, best friends, things of that nature. You know, um, again, allow this to resonate as it may in your own uh, life. But here with the moon and illusions, I'm getting that this person, first of all, I'm getting here that this person could be a water sign. They don't have to be, but they could be. They could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, Pisces, maybe in their sun, moon, rising Venus, or in other uh, aspects of their chart that uh, is linked to or houses that are linked to relationships or love, okay, depending on who this person may be for you. But yes, I'm coming, it's coming across as this person could be a water sign. They don't have to be, but they could be. I feel this person, um, uh, you know, is intuitive as well. I mean, we have here this beautiful moon, all right? This person could also be a little bit moody, okay? So it's coming across as this person could have like a moody disposition sometimes. It's like, you know, sometimes they may, it's like when you, when you speak to them or when you, or when you hang out with them or you reach, um, out to them or whenever, however this may play out for you, but I'm getting, it's like, you don't know how this person, um, may either react to something or be on a particular day in regards to their mood or their attitude. So it's coming across as this person could be moody. Okay. Now this person could also be an empath or they could be intuitive because I'm getting that energy here with this full moon as well as this person could be a water sign. Now, if they're not a water sign, um, in their sun, moon, rising Venus, they could have maybe other, you know, parts of their astrological uh, chart could be a uh, heavy water, or there's something particularly, um, specific in regards to Scorpio season, cancer season, or Pisces season. Okay. So it could be here, something having to do with either a breakup, separation, or divorce, focusing on those three signs here as potential, maybe moments where, you know, um, this argument, you know, took place or this disagreement took place or this breakup, separation or divorce may have taken place. Okay. So this is coming or, you know, this argument, this tension, um, again, you know, 
it, it all depends who this person may be for you. So for some of for some of you, it looks like it was a separation, breakup, or divorce in your romance sector. Okay, so this could be someone you may have been romantically linked with at some point in time. Okay, because the ten of swords is coming up. It's coming up as endings here. All right, so this person um could at this moment in time have released these tensions or this sense of deception lack of transparency they may have felt here they may have felt here like something wasn't you know uh, wasn't up to par in regards to honesty of something or transparency of something here there could have been here a, mis a misunderstanding maybe even this person may have felt that this breakup separation divorce or tension between the both of you may have been um about you know about being deceived in some way shape or form but the reality or how this is coming across this is one of the stories line storylines that are coming across that this was this person's perception on this so for in some cases this may not have been the case but they perceive this ending separation breakup or divorce based on their illusion of or perception of something that maybe wasn't uh factual or wasn't tangible they they're basing it either on an intuition or they're basing it on an assumption or basing it on some type of anxiety or worry that they may have manifested in their perspective or perception here okay that's how it's coming across this person could also be, if it's not a water sign, they have here the swords um, energy coming through. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising Venus. Or perhaps there's some connection here to Libra season, Gemini season, or Aquarius season. Okay, so that um, is the first thing that has come out in regards to um, who this person may be for you. Okay, let's take a look here at what else is coming through? Who can this person be for Sagittarius? Who is missing Sagittarius the most right now at this moment in time? Let's see what else I can pick up here about this person. They have Forbidden, High Priestess of Fire, and Fragment. For some of you, this was a I mean, it's coming across again as a breakup, separation, or divorce, especially with the fact that it's Fragment. For others of you, um, this person may not have been a romantic connection. This could have been a best friend, a family member, a sibling, okay? Someone that you were very close to emotionally or someone that felt emotionally close to you, okay? Um, I'm getting here, especially with Forbidden, there was something here that um, I'm getting that this person may have been very either, may have been either closed off about they may have been kind of like maybe even on a different path, right? Or a different kind of goal here. So it's coming across as a different path, a different goal. Or some topic here that may have been off limits to this person. This person is coming across as a person that seems to be a little bit closed off. Now, they may not be closed off in everything, okay? So listen carefully. This is coming across as a person who may be closed off in regards to things that have um, a very kind of like in a state of vulnerability, like something they hold near and dear to their heart could be something that they feel kind of like protective about, okay? So whether this is an insecurity, whether this is a vulnerability, whether this is perhaps a path or a choice that they may have, you know, um, decided upon or selected in the past or recent past or something they're not very proud of. So there could be here something that this person may be a little bit, you know, reserved about. And that could also be here with the moon card as well. Like you could only see the moon at nighttime. So there, this could be 
this person's personality, that they may be, you know, fiery and an extrovert to the outside world. But when it comes to their own private sector or their own private life, they tend to be a little bit more reclusive, a little bit more dodgy, a little bit more private, um, you know, um, a little bit more reserved is how this is coming across. They have here the high priestess of fire, okay? And don't worry about the fact that it says priestess, um, you know, because that usually, you know, this has nothing to do with gender. This has nothing to do with that. And it has to do with energy. And this person's energy, they may be um, fiery. They may be bold. They may be confident, all right? They may be a fire sign in their sun, moon, rising Venus, or they may have a heavy fire in their astrological chart. There could be here something connected to this person's personality in regards to this fire energy, okay? So being proactive, being the type of person who doesn't wait for things to be resolved, but goes out there and, you know, you know, uh, isn't afraid of getting their hands dirty, so to speak, here in regards to challenges, changes, delays, transitions, okay? This person may get a little angsty or they may get a little fired up when things are not going in the manner in which they either expected or they um, projected, okay? Um, I'm getting that this person could have a temper, all right? They could be a little, uh, you know, a little snappy. And I said that with that moon card because it's coming across as someone who like um, may display an attitude, okay? Um, for some of them, it could be just, again, like I said, there's some type of insecurity here um, that they feel that others may see, but in reality, it's just their own perception. Um, I'm getting here that this person could be uh, a person who may be in business. They don't have to be in business, but they, I feel here like the hustle and bustle of an industry. Um, so, you know, where creativity is important for some of them, where being confident, bold, and, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like someone who's like very like sharp and, you know, um, I was going to say correct, but maybe in their line of work, they have to be that way because they have to seem as if they know what they're saying and know what they're doing. So there's this like persona here of, um, you know, that energy, right. That I'm getting here about this person. This person could be a passionate, sensual person in their private life. And it could be something that they hide as well, okay? So this is something that they can, you know, they could uh, seem, you know, to the world um, as someone who's very confident and, you know, um, I'm getting, like, confident, I'm getting stable, I'm getting, um, you know, alluring and sexy, but you can only see that part of them once there's this sense of feeling or being more, you know, private with them is how this is coming across. It's like there, there are parts about this person that they keep privately, whether it's their sensuality or their, the, this passion that they have um, in romantic relationships or whether there's this sense of, you know, there's a part of them that is vulnerable, but they're not showing it to other people, okay, is how this is coming across. They have here Fragment, and Fragment, it's, if you look at this card here, um, it looks like it's a ghost, um, or it's like this spirit in this nature, in this place of nature. This person could feel that nature being outdoors, um, being surrounded by trees, nature, water, you know, nature elements soothes or relaxes their anxiety and worries. Um, I feel here for this fragment, there are here moments that this person, especially if this was a breakup, separation, divorce, or if this person 
So if it was a breakup separation or divorce that was like more in the romantic sector, or this person, if it's a fr family friend, you know, a family, a friend, or a best friend, you know, whatever, whomever this person may, may be, whichever may be their role, is as if whatever situation, circumstance, or event that led to the ending or the tension or the argument about something may still be in the back of this person's mind. So it's as if that, you know, when you look at them, you wouldn't, you can't tell that they are even allowing this tension or the situation to, you know, they, they look like they're okay. Right. If you if you were to look at this person, if you still are in contact with this person, or you know, this person looks like, hey, listen, I'm fine. I'm 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 over this situation because the ten of swords is that energy. It's someone who has released that sense of hurt, pain, and suffering. Okay, or painful experience, or uh, bad memories here about something, right? Or or hurtful memories. Let's say that also. Um. So this person may have, you know, let bygones be bygones. Externally, it looks that way, but behind closed doors or behind in the back of their mind, they still are either hurt or they still remember the situation or circumstance that led to some type of fracturing of a relationship or of a connection here okay is as if that still lingers in their back of their mind somehow um let's see what else comes through here about this person let's see who can this person be here for sagittarius and they have here hanged man, king of pentacles, and six of pentacles, okay? This person, um, you know, is the type of person here that when they do need to take a break or when there is tension or friction here, um, they may take time to take a step back, okay? Because the hanged man energy or the hanged man here in tarot is the energy of someone taking a pause or taking a step back in regards to find either a new perspective or they tend to be the type of person who just pulls themselves back from a situation. And again, like I was getting here, the sense of, it says here forbidden, they kind of close themselves off either emotionally or they close themselves off in regards to their communication here of some sorts. King of Pentacles, I said this before, it's coming through again, especially here with this high priestess of fire. I said this person could be fiery, can be a go-getter. They can be proactive, ambitious. Um, if you look at this person, they, you know, they seem like very kind of focused on the business at hand and whatever that may be. Their focus could be in their career or in parts of their life that is very valuable to them. It doesn't always have to be career because the King of Pentacles has the overall riches in every aspect of their life. So it's, they're solid in their material world, in their career, in family life, in their love life. There's this sense of like, you know, this stability is important here for this person in every area of their life. Now, the King of Pentacles not only is a stable and mature king, but is also a king that is nurturing, that is grounded, that is stable, that um, really cares about family, friends, and loved ones. So for this person, this could be, like I said at the top of the reading, when they get into their head, it's like one of those things that is kind of difficult to uh, persuade them out of their way of thinking, okay? And because they're, you know, you have two, this person, this person, not you, but this person has two cards here focusing on pentacles energy. And again, I said, earth energy here with this um, fragment card, I'm getting that this person could also here be or have a, a lot of earth on their chart. This person could be a um, 
basically you have, I mean, this person has pretty much um, all the elements here. But I'm getting earth, earth, earth energy here. So this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising Venus, or they can have a lot of placements on their astrological natal chart focusing on earth signs or earth elements, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If it's not that, it's that they show the energy of someone or they show the personality traits here of someone who is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of pentacles energy. I feel here that again, like I said, this person shows this energy, whatever energy you give to this person, this person kind of gives it back is how this is coming across. But at times behind it or in the back of their mind, there is still here some residual energy or some residual memories here about something here that was exchanged between you and them or them and you that could have been either hurtful or impactful here in regards to this person, okay? Let's see what other um, what other energies I'm getting here about this person in general here. Um, I'm getting this like peekaboo type of energy here with this person. So either sometimes here, Sagittarius, you may reach out to them or they may reach out to you, but I don't feel like it's like, consistent okay so for some of you this person it's that kind of like high bias sometimes just checking up on either them checking up on you or you checking up on them because i'm getting that energy here with this um high priestess of fire where this person is looking over their shoulder so it's kind of like that you know they're focused on their career they're focused on their stability or they're focused on whatever is valuable to them, but there is this energy where at times they may either reach out just to check up on you to see how you're doing, um, or that you may check up, uh, check up on them. So I'm getting this kind of like, you know, not a consistent type of communication all the time or not a consistent connection, but more kind of in and out. Okay. And I think I said that at the top of the reading, I was getting here kind of like flighty or moody and um yeah we're dodgy so yeah so it kind of i'm getting this energy where there there could be this like hi you, you guys may you know communicate or exchange messages for a little bit and then it's like there's like a hiatus or a time where you don't hear from each other for a while but then kind of get back so if there if some of you here are in still of a you know in contact with this person that you feel is resonating with the person that you're thinking about um you know that could be here another type of energy that i'm getting here in in connection with their uh you know with this person who's missing you or the type of relationship or connection they may um still have with you um at this present moment in time sagittarius i hope these messages have been insightful don't forget to give me a thumbs up like share subscribe and i'll see you soon